Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and today I have a quick tutorial on extending shadow distance in the latest public Q to shader, this one being the Q to V6.0.73 Beta Ultra. Alright, let's get to it. First, have the Q to shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 21. For extending the shadow distance, larger numbers will do the trick. So my advice to you, go with 420.0f, since that's what I've been using. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Cuter Shader tutorials, versions in time will change. So if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this q to shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.